So I have done a number of beef jerky videos over the years. And there is one question that especially in the last year or two, I've been getting quite a bit through messages and comments is, can you make jerky in an air fryer? Well, apparently the answer is yes. I've never done it, but the air fryer that I have has a dehydrate function and there is a recipe on the Instant Pot website. This is an Instant Pot air fryer. So today I'm gonna go ahead and make it that way based upon that recipe, except for the seasoning. I'm gonna use the time and the temperature part of the recipe. And so I'm approaching this like, you wanna make beef jerky quickly. So we're not gonna do a 24 hour soak and marinade. We're gonna do a dry rub. I've done a dry rub beef jerky before and they're great. First I wanna say, and I always get this question is, how long will it last? I make my beef jerky to be refrigerated. I don't make it for long-term preservation. If you wanna make it for that, you're gonna to have to look for further information. I make just enough that it's gonna be gone within four or five days. I grab some out of the refrigerator every once in a while. I do know people that freeze it and then thaw it in the refrigerator so that it'll last longer, but really it's four or five days in the refrigerator is about the longest I've ever had it before it's gone. So beyond that, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and start breaking down this eye of round. Now this is not a huge piece, but that kind of goes along with the fact you're doing something quick. Your air fryer is not as big as your oven or your smoker, but you want to make some beef jerky. So let's get this ready. And first thing I want to do is I want to trim this bit of fat off here. I like to remove the fat if I can. I know a lot of people like to leave the fat, but I like to remove it. Now it's always easiest to cut the beef for beef jerky when it is firm. So this is gonna go in the freezer for about an hour. But first I wanna break this down into two pieces because that's gonna give me the shape I want to cut the final pieces. Now I could go across the grain here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this down the center here. So I get two sort of long sections because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the strips this way with the grain. That way they'll have a little bit of that tug. Now I'm gonna transfer this to a little tray that's gonna go in the freezer. And so these are going in for about an hour. I'll see you when they're nice and firmed up. All right, here are our pieces of eye of round. They're nice and firmed up. So let's go ahead and slice these. And as I mentioned, I'm going to go this way with the grain. If you wanted to go this way across the grain, you could, it'll be a more tender bite when you're eating your jerky. But as you get down to this end, you're gonna have increasingly thinner pieces. So I'm just gonna go with the grain today. And I'm gonna try and go an eighth to a quarter inch thick. They don't have to be perfect. And if I can't fit all the slices in the air fryer at the same time, I'll do another batch later. I do have some racks that I got for my air fryer that'll allow me to do some more in there. I'll show you those. Looking good just like that. When it gets to sort of this thin part, I'm actually gonna separate this into two sections now and cut this one first. And if some are a little thicker, that's all right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other piece of this and then we're gonna start seasoning. So I have my beef slices in a bowl here and I'm just gonna hit them with a dry rub that I like. I'm using Texas Cowboy Rub from Wishing Well Barbecue. You could use anything you want, maybe just some salt and pepper, some garlic powder, or you could do a marinade overnight. But as I said, this is gonna be one of those quick ones. You just decide you want some beef jerky, you got an air fryer, you can make it in there. It has a dehydrate function. That's a simple way. Give everybody a good little coating here. A little bit on each side. All right, that's looking good. Let's get the air fryer out here. So I mentioned I have some racks for my air fryer. I purchased these from Amazon. They're just stackable racks that fit in the air fryer. Now, I don't know if your air fryer can use racks or if they're available for them. Um, you always wanna check with the manual, your manufacturer, make sure that they say racks are okay to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these in here. And let's start filling them up. Again, if there's too much beef jerky pieces to go on this, I'll make another batch later. 
just gonna try and fit them as good as I can. And I think I'll try and get the big pieces in first. Let's see, we're gonna fill up pretty quickly here. Try and cram a little piece in here. Kind of like playing Tetris to fit everything. Definitely gonna need to do another batch here. And I'll just put the rest in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator. They can hang out until it's time to make that second batch. But let's go ahead and get these in the air fryer. So here's my air fryer. It's an Instant Pot Vortex 6 quart, I think that's the model, but air fryers are very similar. So you just want to check with your manual on your air fryer and see if you can do jerky in it. Some of them actually have a dehydrate setting, or if they don't, they might have instructions how to do it. But look on your own air fryer and in the manual, see how they say to do it. I'm following the instructions on a recipe that Instant Pot had on their website. So let's open this up and get our beef pieces in. Now these racks fit in here. I don't know if they're gonna work well. I don't know if Instant Pot even says to go ahead and do this. So this is just the way I'm trying this. I'm following their recipe for time and temperature, but I'm using these racks to try and get some more capacity. So like I said, always make sure that your air fryer can use racks if you choose to do it, or you don't have to use racks. There's other ways to do it. Let's go ahead and get these in and fire it up. Hit dehydrate. My temperature is gonna be 160. That's the recommended temp. My time is gonna be three hours. And we're starting. Now in an hour and a half, I'm gonna come back and rotate the racks. I wanna get like those positions shifted a bit so we get a more even drying in here. And when you think about it, an air fryer might even be a really perfect vessel for making jerky because it's moving air, it's helping to dehydrate it. And especially if it has that dehydrate function. And that 160 degree temperature is the safe temperature Really, when jerky gets that, it should be safe. These are whole pieces of meat, they're not ground meat. Ground meat is more like 165. And so once your jerky pieces reach that 160 degrees, which they're gonna reach probably within an hour or so, that's my experience that I've had using other methods on smokers and the oven. And we'll do some tests at the three hour mark that Instant Pot suggests, which is bending to see if there's still juices coming, things like that. So this is the first time for me using the air fryer. I've made a lot of jerky in other ways. Let's see how this works. All right, we're just about 90 minutes into this. Let's open it up, see how our jerky's coming along. Wow, that looks like jerky. I mean, look at that. That is looking really good. Let me pop the trays out of here so we can rearrange them. The pieces underneath are looking pretty good too. Look at that. And here's our bottom. These are looking good too, but you can definitely tell that these need to move up. So it's good that we're going to shift their position. Back in here. Get this back in. And we'll let that keep going and check again in 90 minutes. All right, we are almost at the three hour mark. And what I want to do now is check these pieces of beef jerky before we reach that three hour mark, because I might need to add more time. So let's go ahead and open this up looking good. So now the way that the recipe that's on the Instant Pot website says is you should bend this and if anything leaks out, any juice or anything, it's not done. So let's see. So there is still a little bit of moisture there, a little bit of juice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 30 minutes to the time now. So we'll go another 30 minutes and then we'll check it again. Some of these are probably fine, like these thin ones here. Let's see. Yeah, that one's looking pretty good, but it'll still benefit from going another 30 minutes. So let's close this up and let it keep going. All right, we've been going about 25 of that 30 minutes here. So let's take a look now and see how we're doing. Oh, -ho, that is looking good. Wow. Let's see. That is looking good. This piece is tearing, no juice coming out. See this one? That one's looking good too. All right, I'm gonna get these pieces out of here, let them cool down for about 10 minutes, and then we will have a taste. All right, our beef jerky has cooled down a bit. It looks great, 
different look from, say, a marinated one because our flavor is mostly on the surface here with that dry rub. And the way this performed, just without even tasting it yet, I think a marinade would do fine in there. Might need to go a little bit longer, but that's fine. So let's pick a piece to have a taste here. How about this one? Oh, look at that. Nice. Break a piece off. Here we go. Texture wise, that reminds me of the jerky that I do in the oven. Very, very similar. The flavor is the same as other jerkies I've done with the dry rub versus the marinade. So all in all, this works. I haven't done this before in the air fryer, but like I said, the concept of it makes sense. You have air circulating, you have heat. That's the basic way you make jerky to dehydrate it. And those racks seem to really work well. I'll put links in the video description to those racks and to the air fryer that I have so you can check them out. But all in all, success, and I would use this way again to make jerky.